I'm David Paul Williams. I'm from Bellevue, Washington. Uh, I am a member of the Northwest Fly Anglers. I'm also uh, secretary of the Washington Council of the Federation of Fly Fishers and the newsletter editor. I do a lot of freelance magazine writing and I've also uh, written a book which is going to be published by Stackpole Books. It's called Fly Fishing for Western Smallmouth. And so today we're going to tie uh, one of my uh, one of my favorite smallmouth uh, bass patterns. It's called Afternoon Delight. And um, today I'm, I'm tying on a Daiichi hook. Uh, this particular uh, hook is their model 1730. Uh, this is a size uh, 6 and it's a uh, 3X. The body material is a Staz. Uh, it's a chartreuse, UV lights, and we got Danville uh, Flymaster Plus uh, thread. So we're just going to start this puppy. I always tie them weighted and I lay down a base of thread and I tie slowly and we'll trim the tag. Most people when they're tying and they're putting lead on a fly they wrap it around the shank I put it on top of the shank to counterbalance the hook because I want my point to be up in the water column. We're going to tie this with just one bit of uh, lead on top. Depending on water velocity and how deep I'm, uh, water velocity and the depth of the water that I'm going to fish, I'll sometimes put uh, you know, two or even three uh, bits of lead on top. This is more or less going to represent an odd looking crayfish and crayfish live on the bottom so I want my hook point to be up so it doesn't hook the bottom. Use a little crystal flash for the tail. And then trim those. So now I've got a, got a tail. Got some black rabbit, and this is a straight cut rabbit. I'm going to lay it on top. And everybody, when they look at this fly, they say, How come you tied the tail in wrong? Well, the answer is I didn't tie the tail in wrong because I've counterbalanced the hook so when it's in the water, it's actually going to be like that. Bind that down. What I find is that if I don't get the tail down tight, that after a, a number of smallmouth, the tail's gone. All right, so we're going to use a black saddle. Just prepare it. Strip it down. Bind it in. I tie probably 25 different uh, smallmouth patterns. They're all simple because I would rather fish than tie flies. And besides, they're easy for other people to copy and they can go c catch a lot of fish too. This is the UV chartreuse lights, nice bright color. The uh, uh, other versions of this fly use a uh, UV black and uh, there's another one that has a UV olive. They're all really good uh, smallmouth patterns. There we go. Put an extra wrap in there just to make it stay down. Bind that forward. Five or six wraps. Oh, oh. That always looks good. We try to get that on film as much as possible. So we'll try to get that on. The number of wraps is not important because I don't think smallmouth can count.
Kind of a retarded looking fly, but there you go. Put a head on it. My version of a whip finish. There we go. <laughs> nice and simple, easy to tie, catches a lot of fish.